Hi guys, so let's look at the next puzzle here. So quant based puzzle, which is part ten. So again, a good puzzle uh, of counting and uh, picking match ticks. Okay, let's look at this. Okay. So if you read this set, guys, this set actually says that uh, there are two players are playing a game, and one player can pick one match tick. One can pick uh, one can pick three match tick. Okay. Uh, and one can pick four match tick, two they can they cannot pick actually, right? So you got to start thinking from somewhere that let's say for example, uh, now let's say start with whosoever chance it is, right? Let's say it is the chance of which player at what number of coins, right? So let's say whosoever chance it is. For example, if at one coin, if it is chance of mine, right? So if there are one, just think over it, right? If there are one coin or one same thing, right? One match tick. Okay, so let's talk about coin. But match is a long word to say. Okay, if there are one coin, if there is one coin on the table, and if I want to, uh, if it is my chance, so will I win the game? Yes, because I'll pick that one coin. I'll win the game. So one is a winning number for me, right? If it is my chance and there are two coins on the table, so in that case I lose the game because I can't I can't pick two. So I can pick one. Now the other player will pick the other first coin, right? So he will win the game now. So at two coins, he is the winner. Fine. At three coins, at three coins, if it is at three coins, if it is my chance, then again I'll win the game because if there are three coins, I'll pick all three at a time and I'll win the game. At four coins also, also I'll win the game. So I'm talking about a person who's ever chance it is right now. So if there are four coins on the table, and if it is my chance, means player who's ever chance it is among the, between the two players, right? He will win the game because all four he will pick at a time. Fine. If I move to five coins. At five coins, who will win the game? Whosoever chance it is, he will win the game or not, right? Yes, he will win the game because two is a you know that whosoever chance it is right now, two is a winning losing number because if if there are two coins on the table and whosoever chance it is, right, he will lose the game. That we know now. Okay, so if there are five coins on the table, I can pick th if it is my chance, I'll pick three coins and I'll bring the game at two coins for you, right? And that in that case. It is your chance, and there is a two two on the table, two coins. So you lose the game at that time. Okay, fine. If there are six coins, now again, I will. If it is my chance, I will win the game. Or whosoever chance it is, he will win the game. Because if there are six coins on the table, if I pick four coins, so if I pick four coins, then the game will come down to two coins for you, right? And I know that at two coins, whosoever chance it is, he will lose the game. Okay. So till six, all these are winning number for me. Oh, uh, only two is a losing number if it is my chance. At seven, not think over it, right? At seven, is it a losing number for me or winning number? No, it's a losing number for me because I, if there are seven coins on the table and if I pick one, three, or four point coin, so after picking one coin, I'll end at six. After picking three coins, I'll end at four, and after picking four coins, I'll end at three. Correct. So now, in this case, in this case. After picking, uh, yes. So in this case, now if there are three coins on the table, so I know that now three was a winning number for whosoever chance it is. So after if seven coins, it, it was my chance, and after picking one coin, I have handed over that winning number to him, right? Now six is a winning winning number. Then if there are six coins and it is a opposite opposite player chance, now he will win the game because if there are six coins on the table, he will pick four coins. And he'll give he will give the game at two coins for me, right? And in that case, I lose the game because I know that at two coins, whoever chance it is, he will lose the game actually, right? That means seven is a losing number actually. Then if I move forward, guys, what what about eight? Now eight is a winning number for me because if there are eight coins, it is my chance. I'll pick one coin, and if I pick one coin, I'll basically hand over a losing number to you, and you will lose the game at seven, right? So that's how we we'll try to find some pattern for our initial numbers, right? Because if you look look at the questions here, the first question is around eight to thirteen. This is around sixteen, right? So let's try to pattern, try uh, try to find a pattern around ten fifteen numbers, and then we can solve this whole set very easily, actually. So if you see this, guys, now if there are eight coins, if there are eight coins here, okay, if there are eight coins here, now in that case, in that case, I'll win the game. At nine coins, if there are nine coins, it is my chance. Now tell me, at nine coins, I'll I lose the game or win the game? Now I lose the game, right? Because I the, the nearest losing number which I want to hand over to you is seven coins, right? 
but since there are nine coins and I cannot pick two coins, so I cannot hand over the game to game at seven to you, right? So in that case, I am the loser. In that case, I am the loser here. Okay, fine. So at nine, I lose the game. Again at ten, I'll win the game because nine is a losing number. I'll pick one coin and hand over the game at nine coins to you, right? So now you got the pattern, right? So I think you got the pot pattern. What are the losing numbers here? Two, seven, nine. Now next should be what? So at, at a gap of five, right? First gap of two, then first gap of two, then gap of five, then gap of two. Now it should be gap of five, right? That means next losing number should be fourteen actually. Why? Because again at fourteen coins, I the nearest losing number for me is nine. And since I cannot pick five coins, so I cannot hand over a losing number to you, right? So once I pick any number of coin between one among one, three or four, I'll hand over a winning number to you, and you will win the game, right? That's how it goes about that we go about it, right? So basically, that's the funda. Okay, so I got a pattern right now. Okay, and obviously after fourteen, sixteen was a losing number. Just think over it, right? करो ना एक बार कॉपी पे करो ना ठीक है. Even if you're little bit uh, uh, thinking about this thing, right? एक बार सोचो ना. Just think over it, right? Of different situations and make sure that both the players are playing for win. Players to win the game actually. सब लोग ये खेलने के लिए जीत रहे हैं मतलब जीतने के लिए खेल रहे हैं, right? For example, मतलब uh, in the in this case की बोध दी प्लेयर्स आर प्लेइंग इंटेलिजेंटली सो सबको पता है कि कौन सा लूजिंग नंबर है राइट तो ये सीरीज चलता जाएगा राइट तो व्हाट आर लूजिंग नंबर्स फॉर मी गाइस सो लाइक वन सीरीज इज लाइक 7 सो वन सीरीज इज लाइक 7 देन 14 देन नेक्स्ट विल बी 21 लाइक दैट तो वन सीरीज इज 7 के तो लूजिंग नंबर्स आर बेसिकली 7 के एंड वन देयर इज वन मोर सीरीज हियर 2 देन 9 देन 16 That is seven k plus two, so gap of seven starting with two seven k plus two, right? So these are two losing numbers here. Fine. So with this, I can very easily answer the first two questions. What first question says that what is the value of n from eight to thirteen, both included, so that winner definitely wins the game if it is known that Ajay starts the game. Okay. So eight to thirteen, now winner definitely wins the game if Ajay start the game. That means. You want that if the person who is starting the game doesn't win, right? So if the person who is starting the game doesn't win between eight to thirteen, what is that number? That number is nine. Okay, so nine is the answer for first question. Similarly, what is the value of n from sixteen to twenty-two so that Ajay definitely wins the game if it is known that he doesn't not he does not start the game? So again, you want that he doesn't start the game and he wins the game. That means the the person who starts the game. That should be a losing number for him. So between sixteen to twenty-two, both is loaded. We have got twenty-one as a losing number. Yeah, twenty-one. A multiple of seven. In between sixteen to twenty-two, twenty-two is twenty-one. So twenty-one is the answer for second question. Correct, right? Okay. Now let's take a look at the other question of this set, guys. Okay. Yeah. So one more question here, guys. So in this question, it says that uh, which of which of the following statements is true? So if you read the options here, you'll find that D is true because if n is a multiple of seven. The second player will always win. Why? Because the numbers are what seven k and seven k plus two. Okay, the numbers are seven k and seven plus k plus two. These are these are the losing numbers for the player who started. That means the player who didn't start, that is the second player, he will win the game at these losing numbers, right? So that is D option is the answer for this question. Okay. And also also this combat guys. Okay, so this uh, combat, uh, you know, it's a very good test series. It contains some good high quality questions. Okay. so the easy questions are are not asked here so it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like away uh, we are around 8 to 10 months away from cat so the questions we put off maybe some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the lrda sets also um this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get to get get to get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat You should give a uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before CAT, okay? And this one of your high quality tests, absolutely free of cost. And uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding, 
but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank 1 to 3 one year subscription i think around 20000 or 75% scholarship or 50% or so, so great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put in a uh, link here i'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here ravi roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay ask you for invite code put ravi roda and the link i'll put in description just enroll from there okay and do give this every sunday do give this at 12 pm it's on every sunday okay so every sunday give this on 12 pm thank you